And there we go, a stand with a hammer rack that actually holds the hammers the way you need to grab them. I really hated my old rack that held the hammers this way because when I use a hammer, I don't hold it by the head, you know? So being able to grab them by the handle and they sit in there real loose, they don't fall out, but they sit in there loose enough you can grab any one of them. Right out. <clears throat> I did have to modify the bottom a little bit. I added some little pieces of angle iron in here and I added a little piece on the back that kept them from uh, sliding out off of it like that. So that stops that. So anyway, that's uh, that was the one addition I did off camera. Um, and I painted it off camera, obviously. Went over it with the wire, wire wheel on the side grinder and then painted it a nice dark gray. Uh, I still have to make my hold downs for the handle, <clears throat> and I did drill holes in the feet uh, to give myself the option of bolting it down to the floor, um, but I'm going to see how it rides first, and then I'll decide after that. So then on the back, on the uh, back end back here, we've got the hardy tool holder. That's pretty nice. And then above it, a chisel holder and already I'm looking at that thinking you know I should have went ahead and put the flat side to this and had them leaned up against here but you know live and learn uh, I can cut it back off of there and 
weld it on the other way if I really have to, but for now, I'll, we'll work with it, see how it does. And then this side, nothing special over here. Yeah, so you saw me uh, turn the whole thing around. I realized I'd put the hammer rack on the on this on this other side and went, well, damn. Because uh, normally I had the anvil pointing into the shop, but that's okay. That is not uh, a big deal to me. It'll work. Besides, I can walk all the way around it. Obviously, I am doing so now. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know what the next project is going to be just yet. I'm thinking a set of hammer tongs because I really want to make a hammer. I've got a piece of steel that was given to me that uh, my friend Kyle makes his hammers out of. And he gave me this piece when I went and picked up the handle. And I'm thinking that'd make a really nice hammer. Because this is what he made his blacksmithing hammers out of. I don't know exactly what it is, it's steel wise, but uh, it's not mild, I can tell you that. So anyway, that uh, is a future video for sure, but I don't know when because I really need hammer tongs first. And I don't know if we're gonna make those on video or not, we'll, we'll see. Uh, if not, I'll show them to you, tell you all about them, but if I do, then you all know already. Uh, since I have, like, very little experience making tongs, I think I've made all three pair, and uh, none of them really are all that great. They function, but they could have been a lot better. Uh, so, maybe I'll do it to see, just to see where I'm at now. Who knows? Anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, uh, please subscribe and keep up with me, because... Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of neat stuff coming up now. Uh, there is actually a method to all the madness of doing the woodworking and then switching to all of a sudden to all this welding stuff and building a blacksmith shop and there's actually a culmination to all this. But you're going to have to subscribe and keep watching to find out what it is. Okay? But I'll give you a hint. If you like the drums, you're really going to love what's coming up. Alright? Have a good one guys. We'll see you next time. Oh,